Hello Leo, welcome everyone to my channel and thank you for being here. I'm an interpretive tarot card reader and we're going to be looking at your next major relationship, Leo. So who's coming in? What is the relationship going to be like? What can you expect? We're going to look into all of those lovely things here for you today. So uh, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you on board to join my lovely little YouTube family. Excuse me. Uh, anyone out there that wants to become a channel member, you will get access to bonus readings and any sort of extended versions. And sometimes I post videos only for members. So um, to unlock them and to view them, you have to be a channel member. So if you want to do that, please sign up using the join button on my homepage. Um, I am currently open to private readings. So if you'd like to book in, um, please email me. Otherwise, let's have a look and see your next relationship. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers dealing with Leo. Um, and we'll see what comes up. So let's lay out some cards here, crown the reading, and pull out a card for overall energy for my lovely little lions out there. What's going on? Okay. Okay, so straight away, destiny is in the works here to make this relationship happen for you. Um, it is connected to wish fulfillment, so this relationship is going to be a dream or a wish come true. Okay, so so far you've got an Aquarius or a Scorpio energy, possibly a Leo here as well. Okay, Pisces. Oh, my tripod's in the way there. Is that better? Yep. Okay. Crown the reading with a couple more cards. Okay. Taurus as well. And let's overall energy is the lovers. This is really powerful. Could be a destined Gemini who's coming forward as the lovers. Um, I feel like you are going to meet this person face to face or you're going to meet through communication somehow. So, I mean, you might already be in talking to this person. You might have already connected through words, emails, work exchanges, an introduction or something. Uh, so I feel like it could be, you might even meet them like on forums, online, but I get it's a more face-to-face -face meeting and I feel like this is faded. The universe personified by an angel here wants you to meet this person, wants you to connect. This is a soulmate that's coming in. Your next relationship is with your soulmate here, Leo. They have Gemini... A Gemini personality to them so they could be very playful they may change their mind a lot uh, they're very bright so they like to chit chat about a lot of things um, they like to learn new things they're very active with the mind um, they're also gonna make you laugh they're witty they'll be sort of entertaining for you in a way uh, they may be younger or even if they are older in age they can be very playful, like they like to bring out that silly side. But don't be fooled because if they have that Gemini personality, they could have the not so pleasant twin come out. So there could be like a multi multiple personality thing to this person. Not that gems have multiple personalities. We technically only have two because we're twins, but um, we're a set of twins. But, you know, that's th th there could be some Gemini influence there. So I sort of want you to be prepared for that. But I feel like you're going to fall in love and there's a mutual attraction, a mutual love and a mutual respect uh, that you're both going to have towards each other. So that's that's fantastic to see. We did see more of that air quality with the Aquarius. So I wouldn't be surprised. They're a very confident kind of energy. Um, I get that this person is in the public eye somehow. Okay, so maybe they have a large following online. Maybe they write books, blogs. Um, they're a photographer. It's like they're well known for what they for what they do, or they put their work out there. There's something about star quality to this person. They could also be destined to be famous and be very wealthy and lucky, but I feel like that's also speaking of destiny. Um, especially with that world card as well, it could be someone foreign. So they might know multiple languages. They might have grown up in a different country. Um, they could be living as an expat where you are. Uh, it could be a long distance thing as well. So for some of you, this is a destined long distance relationship and it's going to teach you a lot about yourself here, um, Leo. It's a strong relationship or the cards are telling me you're going to develop very strong feelings for this person quite quickly. Um, 
the death and the star are telling me there's something about healing. Now, this relationship is, going, is either going to help you heal from a different relationship uh, or it could be someone from the past that's coming back in. Wouldn't be too surprised. Scorpio energy, it can be like an ex that's coming back into the picture. But I feel you've been connected to this person romantically before. Um, if you haven't, it could be like a past life connection. Um, and this relationship is going to relive some of those moments. But I feel like there could be secrets in this relationship. You have to be careful. Secrets and betrayal. There may be a lesson here tied into this connection for you to learn about one of those things. But I feel like the past is going to come back up in this connection could also remind you of someone from your past as well so you know they do have pisces and scorpio energy so there's a lot of water energy which makes me feel like this is a relationship that's going to be very up and down almost like a bit of a roller coaster it's going to tick a lot of boxes because you're going to get a lot of what you want out of this connection leo and you're going to be sitting pretty. They're going to shower you with attention and affection, which you're going to love. They're going to be protective over you. And whatever you say is going to go in the relationship. So you're going to love that facet. Um, I feel like you're going to be able to control them. Um, how you control them is a different story. But I feel like they're okay with being more submissive in this relationship and letting you sort of take over. They're going to have a lot of respect with the Hierophant. Um... But even if it is someone new with that ace, I feel like just be careful that history is not repeating itself with that death card. But it could be secrets, okay? For a lot of you, it is someone new. And the lovers could indicate that it just feels very familiar as soon as you meet. It will almost feel like you've been in a relationship with this person forever and, you know, you've only known them for a week. Like there's just this unexplainable closeness you're going to feel. So enjoy that. You're going to be very empathetic and in tune to each other's feelings in this relationship um the love the, the l word the love there's, there's love bombing the l word's going to be dropped really quickly i'm sensing uh and i feel like just be careful because you know it's important not to rush this connection because it's already coming up with quite a fast-paced energy there is marriage potential here with the hierophant marriage or engagement or having a traditional relationship some of you, I see you buying a home or renovating a property with this person. For some, it's going to involve a massive move to be with them. So I'm not surprised if this is a long distance connection and you end up relocating across the world to be with them or vice versa. They could be relocating far and wide to be with you uh, and to be connected with you romantically. That could also be on the cards here. You'll both have to work quite consistently to get to where you are in this relationship. I'm seeing work that's required here as well. Um, for some of you, you're going to end up getting a new job through this person as well. This relationship is going to bring a new financial chapter into your life. Whether it's through work, they might offer you freelance work, they might put you onto someone who's hiring, they may want to start something new with you. Uh, it could be an online business, but I feel like this relationship is somehow going to affect your career. I definitely see a lot of you experimenting. The star, the death card, you know what makes me think? This, one, this is what makes me think they're going to help you explore your sexuality more, Leo. So... I don't know if this is like exploring in the bedroom, you know, exploring with different genders. Uh, but I feel like, you know, or, or becoming a bit of an exhibitionist here, the star and the death card, you might do it behind closed doors, but then you're going to gain more confidence to do things more out in the open. So I feel like you're going to have a very daring, intimate life together. Um, it's quite risque is what I'm getting. Uh but really, really powerful attraction towards each other, strong sexual chemistry in this relationship. But I do see love. Now, I do want to say for some of you, this may start off with as like a friends with benefits kind of thing. You just want to have some fun. You just want the intimate side of things. It's almost like for some of you, it starts off with a no strings attached kind of thing. 
And I always see like the both of you saying, you know, I, I, I don't want anything serious. I just came out of a relationship. You know, I just came out of marriage. All I want is that I just want to have some fun. I just want to keep it light. You know, I've been hurt. I'm not ready for anything. Um, and so you keep your options open with the world card tells me that things are sort of going to be, okay, let's just see where it goes. You know, let's just see where it takes us. But you'll end up falling for each other uh, in deeper ways that you thought possible. And then this like familiarity that you're going to feel with them is just going to heighten the connection even more. And then you're going to feel like, wow, I love this person. I want to be with them. I don't want anyone looking at them or I don't want anyone having their body. You know, that's mine. Like you'll start to get possessive, but not just you. I think they will too. Uh, so together you'll get more possessive and protective over each other. And then, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. You'll, you'll both get much more protective. And I feel like that's where that love component's going to come in, um, into the relationship. So, I mean, you may see it going one way and you think, oh no, this isn't serious or they're not my type. You know, they might not be your conventional type. The discovery here with the world card could indicate that this relationship might have you feeling like suddenly you have a new type or suddenly what you thought was your type no longer stands. It's no longer valid. So I think there's a lot of surprises here. But I definitely feel like this person's going to be at your beck and call. Like they're going to want to do a lot for you. And it's their way of showing love. Like they'll want to cook for you. They'll want to post things online to your page. They'll want to make your life easier. And in their way, that's how they, that's how you know they'll care. There's a lot of water in these cards, which makes me feel like they'll do a lot of things, sweet, sensitive, sentimental things for you. Um, and that's going to be a real eye opener to how strongly they feel. And you might be an unlikely pairing to the outside eye, like to anyone around. They might say, you know, that's not your normal type or, you know, something like this. But then it just, you know, you don't need, you don't need that type with this person because you're going to go off that energy and you're going to go off the love. And I think you're going to enjoy that. Um, I really do. There's, you know, Taurian energy with the Hierophant. So there's a lot of romance coming in as well. Um, so I feel like you'll be going out a lot, fine dining, you know, you'll be spoilt. Uh, and I feel like they, they're going to want to indulge in things for you to please you, to make you happy. Cause it's just that kind of selfless energy that they have around them, Leo. And you're going to love it. You're really, really going to love it. And I feel like this is. This is the hand of God. Okay, there's stability here. You might even get a pet together. Travel the world. But this is like opening up to a next chapter. We've got the keys here. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are going to sort of... This is like the key to the next phase of your love life, your relationship. I'm going to wrap it up there though, Leo. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. If it has been, please subscribe, drop a like, um, feel free to become a member on the channel as well. Um, otherwise, I really appreciate you being with me here today. So thanks again, Leo, um, for all your viewership, your love, your support, and we shall be in touch very, very soon. So thanks everyone and bye for now.